EastEnders icon Ian Beale returned to the BBC soap last week after being away from Walford for three years. Ian Beale made a surprise comeback, with the actor recently teasing his reunion with Kathy Beale and Sharon Watts. Ian returned alongside Cindy Beale last week after it was revealed she had been under witness protection for the last 25 years. Actor Adam opened up about what it was like to return to Walford and the upcoming exchange between Ian, Kathy and Sharon. Speaking to Express and other press, Adam explained, I have to be careful because I know, but there are a lot of conversations that need to take place. I think one of the most interesting ones is going to be process of making carbonara with Sharon. Discussing missing years with me mother, but there is a lot of water that has to be dealt with and we will. I think it's one of the lines with Phil Mitchell, it is short, I mean we just say each other's names to each other and I know just damn well that is going to be hysterical. When asked if he was excited to be reunited with actor Steve, he revealed, No I only saw him the other week. I bumped into him in London and we have done all the selfies but we couldn't stick them on socials because it would have given him away. In February 2020, Ian discovered that Sharon's teenage son, Dennis Rickman Jr., had been bullying Bobby Beale for his faith. Bobby was soon hospitalized after an Islamophobic attack leaving Ian enraged and confronting Dennis during the Queen Vic boat party. He angrily locked him in a cabin following a bitter row, however, when Phil and Keanu Taylor's fight lead to the boat crashing, Ian instantly tried to rescue Dennis. Despite his best efforts, Dennis died and Ian was left feeling guilty. Later down the line, Ian developed feelings for Sharon. However, his feelings were not reciprocated and he was soon attacked by Phil on Sharon's behalf after she learnt about Ian's role in her son's death. Sharon and Kathy rushed him to the hospital where they learnt he had a bleed on his brain, and fearing he was going to die, Ian proposed to Sharon, who accepted. Later, Phil helped Sharon once again to murder Ian and they planned to make it look as if Ian had committed suicide with Phil buying a fatal poison for Sharon to mix into his dinner after planning a romantic evening. However, Ian found out the truth and confronted Sharon about her plan to kill him, just before he was about to eat her poisoned pasta. Luckily, Sharon had a change of heart and made Ian throw up the food, thereby saving his life, leaving Ian to flee the square. 